Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on a new topic that is nothing but the tables in Oracle Fusion. On my previous videos, lot of people have commented that they require the detail how to create or how to know the table names for the Oracle Fusion for creating any type of report or for debugging any type of logic or for getting the different types of data. Okay. So for that I decided to prepare this video. Okay, so this video will help you to know the different modules table names. Okay, how many columns are there? What are the primary keys? What are the foreign keys? What are the different joins to the other table as well? That all things I will cover under this video. So before starting, I just have to say that if you are new on my channel and you want to learn the Oracle Fusion Technical, so please go through my channel fusion playlist there i had uploaded lot of the video which will help you to learn the oracle fusion if you have any doubts any issue any confusion you can write in the comment section or you can drop a email to me so starting to the topic so in oracle fusion we are having the different types of n modules and for each module we are having the different types of n table okay so in r12 what we are having so basically who are not aware of the R12 so I have to tell you that we are having the lower version as an R12 and Fusion is the higher version. So in R12 we are having some functionality to know the table names but in an Fusion there is a nothing as such. Okay so how we will just identify into the R12 that first I will tell you that so you will at least familiar with this environment because if you are familiar with the R12 and then after you are just learning the Oracle Fusion that will be a bit easy for comparative learning okay so for that i will just go on one document which i have prepared to explain you all this stuff so you are seeing on my screen that are the screenshots from the r12 instance okay so suppose if you are opening few forms okay on an r12 okay so what will happen so suppose i have just opened this respective user dashboard form okay there i had queried this sysadmin user I just have to check from which table this information is coming. Okay, so this is the user information. So how I can just do in R12? So I will just go to this help and then after here is the record history. After I clicked on the record history, I will just get one pop up like this one. Okay, so here you can see that I am just getting the table name that is an F and user. So it is then quite easy to get that respective details. Okay, so suppose and one more feature is over there into the R12 that is nothing but the diagnostic and examined so suppose i just know that this is the fnd user this is the username is sysadmin but for that i just want to know the user id okay so how i can just do that so in r12 i will just go to the help then diagnostic then examine so this is the navigation you can see on my screen as well help diagnostic and examine once i click on this respect to examine so what it will give me so it will give me the screen like this so user this is the block then this is the field that is username you can see that that is the sysadmin so for the sysadmin suppose you have to know the user id so instead of this username i just have to write it as an user id okay so for user id it is coming as a zero because sysadmin is always having the zero as a user id so you can see by this way we can just find the different types of an column as well but in this oracle fusion we don't have such type of an functionality so for that what we have to do so oracle had provided a detailed guideline on the oracle fusion enterprise application website okay so there is an one website which is hosted by oracle and there we have all such details so, but how to go that how to identify how to read out that website so i will just tell you that so i'm just going on the browser where i just open that respective website so you can see here so i had opened this respective website okay so this url i will just paste into the description section so to help you guys okay so what we are just doing here so here you can see that we are having here the different types of modules so you can see i am having the scm i am having the hrms i am here i am also having the erp and here i am having the sales services marketing and all the other details okay so suppose I'm just considering it as a supply chain manufacturing that is an SCM. Okay, so what is happening here? So we are having different types of a module like as an order management here is a supply chain here in SCM We are having HR then uh, SCM analyst and so on. Okay, so all these types of a module we are having here So suppose I just want to know the tables for the order management. So what I will do I will just click on this order management first 
whenever you are working on any type of requirement you know that which type of a requirement it is means like as in it is an scm in under scm what is it order management or supply chain management what is that so you already know that so suppose it is an order management so uh, we will come on the screen of the order management then here is an all books so if i just click on this all books so i will just get this list of the detail then here you can find this respective detail like as in get started and after the user related to the user information there are a lot of blogs on that one and so on so but we need the information for the tables only so for that what you have to do you have to go down you have to find so here it is an implementation as well administration then configuration security and so on but we are searching for the table so that's why we have to come to this development apis and schema so all this respective features are for the development purpose so you can see that now we are having here the rest apis soap apis and their respective services how to use how to configure and all and here we are having the two sections that is a table and views for the common feature and table and views for the scm so what i have to do i have to check the table and view for the scm so that's why i will just click on here that is html okay so it will open me all the respective tables for the scm so now what modules we need okay so we are having here you can see that the asset tracking then we are having the channel resources then collaboration there are different types of a module we are having okay but we need a order management so i will just scroll down and i will check where is the order management so you can having it as a number 16 that is order management now here is an option that is a table okay and here is a view so if you want to check the tables you can click here if you want to check the views so you can click here so for now i'm just clicking on the tables so you can see there are different types of and tables are there these all the respective tables are used into the order management so if you know the oracle art well you know that there is a very important and main tables for the order management is that is a oe order headers all and oe orders lines all so here we are having that the doo headers all so the oe is replaced by doo in the oracle fusion so we are having here the doo header all so if i just click on this doo headers all so i will just get all this type of required information so what this information is saying now how to read out this one okay so just i will just close this one and now i will just go on the top so you can see it is having the schema as in fusion okay so while creating the report we we have to select the schema so that time this should be the fusion this is the table you can see this is not a view it is the table and the object owner is doo that is nothing but the order management and the table space we are given here then after what is the primary key for this respective table so we are having doo headers all pk means the primary key name is this one but the column primary key column is nothing but the header id so in oe order headers all that is an r12 table there also we are having the same primary key that is an header id so we are having all this respect to detail header id then there are different types of a column like as an agreement header id price order number so order number is also one of the important column where we are having the order number that is also the unique one so there are different types of a column all these respective columns are there so you can search that all the columns here okay so if you are uh, not able to write the query on that respective data model screen so you can search here only so now but this is the single table but now suppose i have to uh, join this table with the oe orders lines do lines all okay like that table means i have to join the header table and the line table or any other table so how you can know that respect to join condition because here, here are few changes are there okay or if you are new there so you are not able to do that so then what you can do you can just scroll down till the end and there you will find one section that is nothing but the foreign key so you can see this is the foreign key now this respect to doo lines all so this is my lines table which is having the foreign key so which is having the do headers all okay so you can see this is my first table and this is my second table so we are seeing this headers table only at the top you can see foreign table is nothing but the all the header table so this header table can be joined with the lines table based on this respective header id this header table can be joined with the holds table that is do holds instance with the do header id so these type of and different types of and tables we can join 
by using these different types of a foreign key so we are having here the reference of the foreign key and reference of the foreign key table as well so by this way it is very simple to join the respective table with the other table so these are the things then after if there are any type of indexes created on this respective table so you can see that also over here okay so all this respective type of an information is stored over here okay so suppose you have to go for any different module so you can just go into that module you can just enlarge this respective table or column any type of any fields and you can just check that respective table details like for the pricing if you want to do or if you want to search for any type of any table you can just search it out and you can just check it what are the respective columns are there and all the uh, respective other details okay so by this way you can just able to find the different tables different column and their foreign key into the oracle fusion so there is no as such collective document which is having all this respective detail but i am having some document with me for this table formatting if you want that respective document you can just write to me on my email id so i can just provide it out to you so it is under the preparation that's why i will not going to upload it on the video so this is all about the tables in oracle fusion so if you have any type of doubt any type of confusion you can write into the comment section or you can just email me on my email id mentioned into the description section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you